going on everybody? FHRC Brony here, and as you can see, Princess Celeste is over there in the background, waving that American flag. She's actually getting ready for President's Day next month. Anyways, this is a video for CCBS Vlogs. He commented on one of my videos about um, how to inst like how do you install a onboard audio system on your tracks to slash. Honestly, I don't know how to do that, but like I don't know how you how to do that from scratch, putting the onboard audio system from your existing tracks to slash bodies. But I'm gonna show you. I can show you how it's done. Like how did tracks did how did tracks put their system on their cars. So, like I said, this is not a video of how to install the onboard audio system on your slashes from scratch. This is just a video on how it's done. So, if you can, let me turn on my, my light here real quick. I know it is daytime, but it's not bright enough. But, okay, much better. Do you see those, do you see these little screws right here? There's two and there's four so that's f there's two in the back um and then there's four more on the other side those are actually hooked those what are used to hook up the speakers on the body because um they put tractors put the speakers on the body like on top of close to the roof of the body one of them is uh, facing the windshield and the other one is facing at the back so what that does it, it creates more of a rattly sound to make it sound like m more of a actual v8 engine so, I will show you that what it looks like inside. Um, let me move the light real quick. There we go. Take that BSC connector off. All right. As you can see, those lights, I mean those are not lights, speakers are, uh, that's why you see those bolts on the, that's why you see those bolts on the outside on the, on the car, because these are hooked up. Um, if you're going to do this from your existing slash from scratch, like that doesn't have, that doesn't have an onboard audio system, you have to drill, you have to do drilling on, drill holes on these. I, I think you should use body reamers or or drill it but someone suggested you should do body reamers and also what's so cool about the Yombo OBA speakers is this acts like a more of a roll cage so it's more rigid than than the old than the stock slash body without the speakers on so that's just basically it you know um, as far as uh, sound capabilities go for the for the um, audio module the audio audio module, which is this little part right here, um, Traxxas puts the ESC right here. Um, in this case, it's using the XL5 system, and you may not see this, but there's there's two two wires that are popping out of there. There are two wires that are popping out there. You may not see it, but there are two wires that are popping out on uh, this side, and there's another one here on the negative side. And that is connected to a BEC connector, and that is con and that BEC connector connects it to the main module. So, I don't know exactly if you should have these little wires on, but uh, I think this is actually connected to the main battery. I think so. In this case, you can if you don't if you're just gonna put the OBA system on on from scratch, you can use a um, like a, a a lipo battery or some kind of battery that will power it that has the BEC connector at the end. So don't quote me on that because I never had one like that. But that's my prediction and stuff like that. That's my personal stuff. Okay, so after that, same thing in which you put your ESC and your servo onto the receiver. The OBA system has extra extra wires on the outside which has the white black and the red that will connect to your receiver so and then uh, this right here is the little BEC connector that connects it to your speaker so basically this is basically it's just putting you know 
uh, putting electronics onto your receiver. It's like the same way as what you put your servo and your ESC connected to your receiver and stuff like that, except you're just using the OBA system. You're just adding a new part for it. So, so it's straightforward when you think of it, but the only thing that you need to have something else is, you know, you need the, you need the, uh, a drill or a body reamer so you can uh, punch holes, punch holes for the body so you can actually install the speakers because you can't install the speakers uh, on the body and leave it that way. You gotta put something, you gotta bolt it in, so. So yeah. So it's, like I said, but it's not hard though. It's, it's not, it's not a difficult thing to do, but it is pretty lengthy. But in the end, if you know what you're doing, you'll be fine. So like I said, it's pretty straightforward. Nothing, nothing too special about it. You just gotta, the only thing you need to do is to drill holes, uh, um, punch some holes on the, on the side of the car and so you can install the speakers and you, you need to connect the, you need to connect the um, audio module to your receiver and so on and so forth. So that's basically it. Nothing too special and uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. Just, it's just pretty lengthy. All right, I guess that's about it. If you like this, if you like to see more videos on this channel, please go visit my channel and subscribe. FHRC Brony. If if you are interested in some Forza videos, I have a playlist that I will show you on the screen on your right, which has some Forza videos. I also do Forza Motorsport videos, and if you are interested in some more RC videos and other stuff, like I said, hit the subscribe button. And if you're really interested in see some more of my previous RC videos, go click on the video on the left.